Jordan here, back for another video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on some products from Mudcat Whiskers Beard Co. Shout out to Mudcat Whiskers for sending these products over for me to check out. I've got three bombs, butter, and then seven oils to uh, test and review all the different scents. Really enjoyed testing these products and definitely recommend them. Uh, everybody watching this video, check out Mudcat Whiskers, link down below, and uh, let's get this video started. Alrighty, so in this video, I'm going to cover some company info, products sold, ingredients, scents available, my experience using Mudcat Whiskers products, and then my conclusion and final verdict. So let's talk about Mudcat Whiskers itself. Alrighty, so Mudcat Whiskers is based in Youngsville, Louisiana. It's a small batch beard company. The owner's name is Nick. He's been on my channel, Friday Night Truth. I'll have that link down below as well if you want to check that out. And stay tuned for a second appearance uh, happening at some point uh, this fall. And then uh, it sells men's grooming products with a Louisiana theme. Um, that goes all across the products, the branding, and the scents. Next, let's talk about the uh, products that are available. Alright, so, Mudcat Whiskers sells beard oil, beard butter, beard balm, uh, dog kit, aka toiletry bag, which I definitely want to check out uh, at some point here soon, safety razor, carbon fiber combs, as well as t-shirts, and then uh, hats and an EDC knife. Let's keep it moving. Alrighty, so the ingredients for Mudcat Whiskers, uh, for starting with the beard oil, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, argan oil, vitamin E, as well as essential and fragrance oils for scent. And the beard balm is shea butter, uh, soy butter, cocoa butter, as well as coconut oil, emollient wax, and beeswax. Beeswax I put a balm, and then beard butter is takuma butter, salsa butter, kapuka butter, babsu oil, cucumber seed oil, castor oil, Tamanu oil, metal foam seed oil, hoba, hemp seed, and uh, argan oil. So yeah, really great ingredients across the board. Let's talk about the uh, scents available. Alrighty, let's talk about scents available. So, top notes of ginger and verbena on the first one, big and awesome, as well as mild notes of honey, sugar cane, black currant, and bottom notes of black oak, dark fig, and sugared vanilla. Just dark but sweet scent. Yeah, really great scent, definitely like this one. Um, and then the quarter, which I have in balm, is going to be vanilla, Burmese wood, tobacco, rum, leather, oud, and incense. And then Boudreaux, which is uh, black salt, cypress, green bamboo, and summer rain. Yeah, so witching hour is going to be amberwood moss, vetiver, and uh, patchouli, bergamot, and jasmine. Papaw's pipe, which I have in oil and balm, is going to be dark cherry and pipe tobacco. Rain, which I have here in the oil and butter, is going to be talcum powder and subtle spice. Yeah, I have Eden here, which is uh, aged redwood, tonka bean, red saffron, and white musk. And then Traitur, which is right here. Really cool labels across the board on all of these. Um, amber bottles on the uh, on the oil, black containers for the, uh, for the balm, and amber glass jars for the uh, butter. These are around a three ounce, three. 3.4 ounce, somewhere around there, um, on the butters, 2 ounce on the uh, balms, and then 1812, which I don't have, but I definitely want to try at some point, is mahogany, caramel, vanilla, saffron, almond, and clove. Bayou Black is dark, rich amber, lavender, and earthy tones. Jean Luc is black tea, bergamot, verbena, and lemon. Jean Lafayette is bay rum. Leather is Texas cedarwood and suede. Parish is tobacco leaf, dark amber, spice, light musk, sweet earth. Skinned is their unscented blend, so no scent to that one. Voodoo is amber and, frank and frankincense. And Zydeco is Satsuma and Pepri Cayenne. Next, let's talk about my experience using these products. Alrighty, so let's start with the beard oil. So the beard oil is $14 US, medium viscosity with a yellowish color to it. Uh, amber bottles, really cool labels. Hot beer roll as well, but super slick. Definitely uh, like to look at these labels. I wish that the scent profile was on, on the label because I know the name is, it has currently it just has the name on there. Um, it would be nice to have the full scent profile on there as well. Um, that's just a small thing. Uh, great ingredients, solid feel and beard. I would say five to eight hours of scent duration for me, depending on the scent. Um, and also, scent duration is super subjective and maybe different for you. Um, I work in an office uh, most of the time or I'm at home for online school, so I would say I live very like. I'm not outdoors, sweating, doing that kind of thing a lot. Um, so it may be different for you, but that's what I got, I got uh, in my testing. Dropper tops work really well, and uh, definitely impressed with this beard oil overall. Next, let's talk about the beard butter. So a uh, three ounce beard, beard butter is gonna run you $20 US, and uh, 
really awesome labels, glass drawers, super conditioning and nourishing, no beeswax or styling in this butter, just conditioning, which I enjoyed. Awesome containers, top notch ingredients, super soft and broke down quickly in my hands. And I definitely left my beard feeling soft and nourished. Great beard butter overall. Next, is the Bucket Balm. So, $17 for a two ounce metal screw top container beard balm. Uh, and this also is branded as Beard and Skin Balm, so you can run this if you use this on your skin. I guess for tattoos, if you have that. Um, I don't, but in case you do, if you have this, you can use it on that. Um, light to medium hold, breaks down pretty easily in my hands. Touch of grittiness to it, but nothing nothing significant overall. Um, pretty solid beard balm, definitely. Again, cool containers and labels. I do wish that the uh, separate file was on the label, but at least there's an, I got the name on there, so you can still see exactly what scent you have. And then you've got the directions and ingredients on the bottom of the container, which is a nice touch. Definitely like that. And then um, I think my favorite scent overall is definitely Papa's Pipe. Just a nice cherry tobacco. Yeah, so good. Definitely, uh, definitely a great scent. And uh, next, let's wrap up this video. And also, uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention, I also got these uh, two combs sent over. So this is the uh, detangling comb. Nice, uh, nice wide teeth, carbon fiber, with the Mudcat Whiskers logo on it right there, as well as the uh, styling comb. I've been using these a lot. This is definitely my favorite one of the two. Great for styling, like any length of beard. Again, with the, uh, with the logo on there, really cool. Great, nice design, nice and light. I love that there's a handle on it. Really, uh, really makes a good difference with the uh, using this. I would say this is my favorite comb that I've ever used. So definitely, definitely recommend this one. Let's finish up this video. Alrighty, so uh, Mudcat Whisker is definitely a great company overall. Some really impressive products, reasonable prices. For like $14 for a one ounce beard oil. It's really, really solid below the market average. Um, and uh, top notch carrier blend and ingredients, cool labels, brand new theme, great unboxing experience. I do have an unboxing video, check that out if you haven't already. And uh, I do wish the bottles, containers, and jars had the set profile on them. Uh, so I would suggest that Mudcat Whiskers consider adding that set, pro the set profile on the products themselves in addition to the uh, name of the scent. Uh, it'd be nice to have, it's easier to identify on a uh, shelf. Cause I don't know, I, do, I definitely have a lot of products. Uh, so it definitely is nice to have that. Um, Nick, the owner of Mudcat Whiskers, is uh, super helpful, quick responding, great about uh, resharing my Mudcat Whiskers related content on Instagram as well as others. Um, great feel and beard, really solid separation across the board. One more shout out to Mudcat Whiskers for uh, sending me these products to check out. Definitely recommend considering trying Mudcat Whiskers if you haven't already, or try them again in different scents of products. Um, I'll have my cat whiskers linked down below in case you want to check them out. And uh, if you tried my cat whiskers, let me know uh, in the comments below what products or scents you've tried. And uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back with more soon. Peace.